The way I feel about my body now versus when I first began. I'm not interested in being heavy. I'm owning it and it's so surprising. I haven't shopped since having my son because no one anticipates keeping the baby weight, but since it's been quite some time, I need some new clothes. The color's gonna look immaculate on you. Am I even ready for something like this? <gasps> So today, I'm gonna treat myself to a little bit of fun. I wanna get a 24 karat gold mask, so I'm gonna head out to my friend's spa. Oh, yeah! I Finally! Moody wants to meet me at a store, so we're gonna go shopping a little bit and see if like there's something I can fit, and if I can, I'm gonna buy it. I need your help, girl. No, listen, we got you. I need you to blow me up. Get you all fabulous? Yes. Hi. Hello. How are you? I'm Cordelia. Hi, I'm here Cordelia. to have baby yes. in your facial today. Okay. Come with me. So I've gotten a coffee facial in Africa. I've gotten that one. I've done that multiple times, a coffee scrub. I got the coffee facial. I've never done the 24 karat gold mask. I wanted to do this in Dubai, but I didn't have time. I really wanted a 24 karat gold mask because I haven't really been on my skin regimen. So I want to let it soak in and then I do want the finest gold that I can get. This is so good. I'm the steam and then you put this cold mask. Self-care to me is extremely important because it's what makes you a woman. It's what makes you feel yourself. The face wash that I'm using is like an exfoliating face wash. So it's getting rid of all the dead skin. That way the gold mask can seep in deeper and be more hydrating. You have to put the gold mask on a well exfoliated mm. skin, yes. So it's more effective. So you'll have the glow for days going on. Feels expensive. I'm sleeping here tonight. I'm not going home. I can't wait to see my skin. Cause I know you did so many things to it. Is that orange? Yeah, we're breaking down the gold. Good nose. <gasps> my skin looks so good. This is so good, you guys. Oh my god, I'm so upset. Okay, I gotta come back. Oh my god. Hi, baby. Okay, so right now I'm driving to you. I'm actually on my way, so we could both meet up at the store. And I'm feeling a little nervous right now, like as far as like me fitting these clothes. I haven't shopped since having my son because no one anticipates keeping the baby weight, but since it's been quite some time, I need some new clothes because I can't fit the regular stuff. And I'm tired of wearing gym clothes. I want to buy something to make me feel, you know, a little bit different. Girl, so I've heard so much about your shop. Oh, thank you now, so course. much. Listen, and a lot of my friends shop with you. So today I'm looking for something that's going to kind of like reinvent myself. Yeah. You know, I feel... Yes, we have that, absolutely. And I see that yes. with some of the items. I see some of this, like, I want to kind of yes. feel sexy. That's cute. The way I feel about my body now versus when I first began, I'm owning it. And this is really cute. And it's so surprising. I'm so shocked. And I actually feel sexy. I like what I see. I'm happy. I look at myself and I feel really proud. Hello, hello. hello. Thank you for coming. You always want to match me. You smell so good. First of all, what do you think about this? I love. And it's so simple. Classy, right. Classy. And there's no split. This is so nice. The color is fire. This is like dying for me to try on in a sense. It's giving me like I'm a. I live in Tulum. I don't like. You can't something. talk to me. I'm too expensive. Something. The color is gonna look immaculate on you. And it's different, and I've never seen this. And this looks like a custom-made outfit. I'm just praying that it looks the way I think it's gonna look on me. I don't know. <laughs> yes. Simple. Yes. Super, and so I won't look like this. I will have my hair done, I will have a hat on, I will have some shades on, and stuff, but it's about the dress. Yeah. You made this outfit, girl. This is yes. like perfect. I can go anywhere with this. I just had a baby, and I got her a complex, and this is making me feel real good. Like, I put this thing on real quick, and I'm like, this this is too big for me. So I love this, and girl, I can't wait to try the next. I'm a little scared, because the next outfit is a little bit, you know, yeah, scandalous. You got me to stop looking at myself. You look fabulous, though. Mm -hmm. So sexy, I love it. You can go to the beach with some sandals. Anything. This is like daytime and nighttime. Mm -hmm. You could dress yes. it up or dress it down. This is what I'm saying. Okay, sexy. one more. Yes. This is a little bit different. With my hair done, with some shades, yes. on the island. This is, so this is a vibe. Yes. This is definitely a vibe. 
It's gonna be the vibe. I'm dying for this look. It's so cute. I like this actually. I really like this. It's dress. really really cute. This dress is different. I didn't think that she was gonna have items that fit me, but also gave me a lot of room to move and made me feel like I was way smarter than I feel. It flows and it makes me feel sexy, but not only sexy, but it makes me feel kind of like small. When you first started your journey, you would not have worn this. I can't do this. I'm too big for this. You would have looked at me and told me, Moody, you're I would not have been here trying on clothes this heavy. You look amazing, and I just want to know how are you feeling? I feel amazing because I never thought that I would not be worried about how I look. The main thing I've learned about myself is that I'm patient, way more patient than I thought I was. Right now I'm feeling super confident, only because I'm happy in the skin that I'm in. I'm not fighting myself, I'm not trying to beat the odds and trying to like impress people. My body is not the most important thing. To some people it is, but to me, I'm confident where I'm at. And I still fit clothes, I still feel sexy, I still feel good. And the most important thing is that I'm having fun and I'm enjoying my skin. You know, life is too short to be Pressed on how you look for other people. <laughs> Are we done? Bye. <laughs> I've been working out really hard and nonstop this past few weeks, and I'm really starting to feel it. I feel like my muscles and my body is really aching, and I need to do something about it. I need to take a break. So I booked myself for a little TLC. Oh, there we go. 700 calories in three minutes yes. without no workout. No workout. Are you serious? Yes. Oh my God, this is so cold. So I have been working out so much, really just killing the gym, killing my body lately. And I've been beating myself up to the point where now everything's hurting. So today I'm actually going to pamper myself a little bit. This traffic right now is just too much. Like Miami has literally turned into Los Angeles. Today I have a lot planned. So not only do I get to see a chiropractor that's gonna help me crack up my bones and get me aligned, but I might try something new that I've never tried before. All these celebrities have tried it before and it's cryotherapy. So it's like a fridge to some sort and I'm gonna freeze something. I'm gonna find out. Hello. Hi. Hi, you must be Rocky. Yes, I am. Hi, I'm Dr. Schreier. Nice oh, to hi, meet you. Oh, pleasure. Wow. Welcome to the yes, office. Yes, thank you. So we're going to get you adjusted today, right? Yes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to feel your spine to feel for any imbalances in your body. Okay. And then if there's any misalignments to your vertebrae, I'm going to apply a gentle pressure to different spots. You might feel a little pop or click or that like crack. That's a little air bubbles releasing pressure from the joints. So it's not actually the bones making that noise. Is this gonna hurt me? It doesn't hurt. It's gentle corrections. It's painless and usually okay. feels great. Deep breath in and all the way out. Oh! There we go, good. Deep breath in again and all the way out. Okay, perfect. Wow. Right here. Oh. Oh. There we go. Great. <laughs> oh, sh Perfect. You did great. That felt good? Like, yes, it did. Perfect. Oh, God. And then you just decompress everything. Mm. Okay. Damn, doctor. Perfect. Is that, is that it? Yeah. Oh, my Come God. On. That was so good. Great. How'd you do? Should I start dancing? Yeah, if you'd like. <laughs> oh, my God. It smells so good. Oh, I feel like my neck is longer. Is yeah. that how I'm supposed to feel? Yeah, it should feel like it's decompressed and yeah. everything. Oh. Now, guess what we're gonna do? What? We're gonna get you frozen. No, wait a minute, hold on, wait, before we do cryo, is it gonna hurt? No, the cryo feels great. Okay, cryo, but like, I'm so scared because everybody is like, they make it seem like it's so terrifying. We're gonna give you this robe to put okay. on, okay, so and then I'm gonna show you our machine. We have we have special socks for you to put on for cryotherapy too, all to protect your calves, because it gets really cold in the machine. It's done at negative 150 Celsius. It's gonna freeze away your inflammation and soreness in your body, especially because you work out, it's perfect for you. Great okay. recovery. Have you done this? I do it all the time. Well, I gotcha. All right, looks like you're ready to uh, oh. get cold. Oh. 
cryo machine is nice and ready for you. You're okay. gonna need these gloves to put on so throw you can my hands. your fingers. Oh my God, are we about to get this started? Okay, so I'm gonna bring you up and you'll throw me your robe, okay? People really are in here naked. Yeah, you're gonna burn off about 700 calories 700. during this treatment in three minutes. What? Yeah, so it's gonna be great to keep you in shape. 700 calories in three minutes? Yes. Without no workouts? No workouts. Well, are you right? serious? I'm serious. What? Yes. So let's get you taken care of. All right, at any time, if you needed me to pause, I can pause halfway through, okay? Okay. Just breathe. Breathe. That's it. It's cold as hell, but my legs are shut. I'm sweating from, never mind. But it's oh, so no. beneficial for your body. Oh, and this is kicking. I know, I know. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. Move around just a little bit if you need move to. Move around, move around. Yep, yep. Oh my God, this is so cold. But this is great for your body. Mm -hmm. All right, we've gotten one minute down. Move you want to pause? Move around, I can try to escape. All right, 20 seconds, 20 seconds, 20 seconds. Come on, you can do anything for 20 seconds. Come on. Come on, Come on. you got this, babe. Come on. Five, four, three, two, and one. <laughs> it was a pleasure to freeze you. Yeah, it's like literally. Cold, like a piece of steak. Yes, that's how you feel. Like frozen meat. The nitrogen's locked into your tissue. No matter if you sweat, take a bath, it's still into your muscle and it's gonna give you the relief that you need tomorrow. You think I'm gonna get a little bit of results for real off of 700 calories? I'm telling you. I can't remember the last time I lose 700 calories. Hey, okay, well you Girl. did it today. It was a pleasure to take care of you. Thank you, you really helped. Right now, after the treatment, oh my God, I feel so good. I actually feel like I can do like three or four backflips. I feel really good, I, I'm not gonna lie. I don't feel tense, I don't feel blocked up. The blockage is gone. The treatment today was unbelievable. It was nothing that I thought it would be, but I can definitely tell you that I'm coming back. After working out so hard, this is exactly what my body needed. I really love it. I decided to keep power space a secret for a long time. Now, I'm ready to show the whole entire world. My son has to be driven designer. This is gonna be the first time that he's in front of the camera, that the world is gonna see him. He really does look like his dad, so try to figure it out. Hi, Coco! Hello. Thank you for coming. Anytime. I know it's really last minute, but I couldn't have nobody else do my makeup but you. Anytime, I'm here to the rescue. Girl, today is so important. This is Power's first photo shoot since his birth, and I've been waiting for this moment for a long time, like literally since he's been in the hospital. So finally we can get these pictures done, mommy and baby. So why did you wait so long to show Power? I decided to keep Power's face a secret for a long time because honestly, it really just boiled down to protecting my son. I didn't want to show him on social media. I didn't want a picture of him floating around, especially when he was in the hospital. I'm just a very private person as well, so when I'm ready is when I'll do it. Um, but I'm not gonna lie, I'm super excited and I'm kind of ready because I want to see everybody's reaction when they see how cute he is. Because he's so cute. Reaching this milestone with my son is unbelievable. My baby is seven months old. Nobody will understand how much I prayed for this. They won't, they won't get it. <gasps> Oh my god, look at my eyeshadow. Oh girl. Thank you so much, Coco. This is perfect. So I'm really excited. You just made me eat like my confidence. Thank you. Alright, it's time to get ready, you guys. Getting lined up for the photo shoot, I want something bubbly, something colorful, something fun. Right now, I have no idea what power is going to wear, but I pulled out some stuff to see exactly what we should go with. His daddy went and bought him some Burberry sneakers, which goes with majority of his wardrobe. These would be a good um, choice for us to put him on today. Um, but then at the same time, I don't know if that really goes with my outfit. We just picked up some Yeezys for him too. This is so cute. We can't do that. It's too many options. So many colors to deal with. I love buying power designer items. If I have nothing but designer in my closet, what is my son supposed to wear? I just found the perfect outfit. This is in the back of his closet and I didn't think about it. This is perfect, it's the blue, it's the pink, it's what I wanted. Power's up, 
it's time to get him ready. So let's get ready. Let's go. Don't cry. Mommy's right here. Why are you crying? Okay, we're gonna get ready. I know you're excited just like me. Let's go. You ready to put your polo on, baby? You look so cute, baby. Mommy is so in love. Like a little gentleman, a little classic handsome man. Uh. Hi, how are you? Hi, nice Hi. to meet it's you. It's a pleasure meeting you, girl. I'm ready for this photo shoot. Ready? Yeah. Okay, it's gonna be awesome. All right, all right, all right. Okay, so the first things we're gonna do, we're gonna go out to the water. Okay. We're gonna have some shots of you and the baby, a lot of interactions and relationship, and then we're gonna do some by the grass. All right, follow me. Showing Howard's face to everybody for the first time is gonna be really exciting for me. He really does look like his dad, so try to figure it out. Ah, how are you so cute? Hi, why are you looking down? Baby, why are you looking down? Stand up like a, ooh, I gotta fix your shirt. I really want these photos to be really, really perfect. They have to be perfect. I can't stress that enough. I think we got it. You want to see the photos? That is so. I love that one. Oh my god! My god. favorite. That is so nice. Can you believe this is the time everyone's gonna see my baby for I the first time? I love it. I am so excited. The whole time I'm thinking it's like <laughs> this is a disaster because he's crying. He wet. He's dirty. His clothes. When he's oh. in his spot. She's good. She is good. You good? I love it. Oh my god! I'm gonna blow these pictures up. <laughs> I need these. Look. The way he's looking at me like, oh. Y'all, I did. I thought that this was going to be a disaster, and then to kind of find out, to look at the pictures, and that's how I know that it's you. <laughs> is that right, man? My look at my baby. This is so cute. Okay, you did a good job, Power. Little model. Photos of my son are so important. He is my life. It's all about my son. It smells like doo-doo in here. So people know me as being a super tough person in the gym and outside in real life, but nobody really knows that I'm terrified of alligators. They just really freak me out. I'm not messing with no alligators. Oh, hell no. But facing my fears head on is gonna bring me a lot of strength. I'm yeah. scared, no, I'm scared. <laughs> Ooh, so hot. My goodness. Moody, why are we here on a hot day? A little surprise I have for you. What surprise? Oh my God, I'm too deep for this. So I know you hate alligators. So I would never bring you anywhere with alligators. So why are you bringing alligators? I'm scared of alligators the same way everybody is scared of alligators. They eat people. Like, I'm from Florida. I've heard all the stories. I'm not messing with no alligators. Alligators, no. They're, there's like millions of alligators in the state of Florida. Millions. I don't care. I'm not looking for no damn alligators. So, I know you wanted a relaxing day. What is it? It's not gonna be relaxing, but it's gonna be a lot of fun, I promise you. You're gonna have a good time. It stinks so much. And you're gonna thank me because we're keeping you on your fitness journey track. It smells like doo-doo in here, and then there's this really big bird right there. It's fun, watch, you're gonna see. What, what is that? It's a gator pit. <laughs> Don't even touch me right now. Son, this doesn't even look real. Are you serious right That's now? That's the whole point. They don't look real. They, they, they're not real. Come on. I don't know why Moody out of all people would try me. Moody don't touch me. And bring me to the Everglades. Why are we here? Like, what? And this is your actual first surprise. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Moody, are you serious right now? Hi! You're good, you're good. Yeah, just Hello. I'm Kevin. Nice Hi, Kevin. You. Nice to meet you, too. Ah, Kevin, you're so strong. I gotta have that gator grip. Don't worry, this is Dundee. And Dundee's not gonna come out of your hand? No, he's a sweetheart. He'll be fine. Oof, what's happening, to Kevin? <laughs> <laughs> Moody's got a couple challenges for you, and uh, we're gonna be doing a day in the life here at the park and yeah. working with these beautiful reptiles. These? And learning, pushing through our fears, and just having a good day. Facing my fears is very important because the worst thing that could have ever happened to me in my life just happened. And I feel like my world was crashing down, but now I'm charging towards fear because when you get past that, you really realize how strong you are. 
Can I touch him? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Oh! Just everything you do, just be gentle. And be gentle. Hi, right, Rocky, but you gotta hold it. Hold what? The baby gator. Oh, 100% agree. You gotta hold the babies before we move on to the big ones. So how do I know he's not gonna attack me? Because if I'm gonna drop him on the floor, I'm about to throw him. No, nah, you won't. We're gonna spot you, don't worry. You sure? Yeah. He's not gonna bite me? No, you're good. He can't bite you, his mouth. You're crazy. I don't know how hard that tape is. All right, just do the same thing I have with my hands. Like this? Hand I'm yep. scared, no, I'm scared. Get your other hand. Kevin, don't please. worry, I'm right here. I figured it's something completely out of the box, completely different. It'll push Rocky and get her adrenaline running. Because honestly, we don't need her to get lazy. We need her to keep going and going and going. And I know she's scared as hell of these gators. So it's going to be a good, fun time with her. What? You're good. You're okay. so that's step one. You made it through the little guys. Now you ready for the big ones? What are we doing with the big ones? Big crop for big rock. Let's go, baby. Hell no. Dude, Today come I on, can help you. What? Wait a minute, no! Dog, this one had their mouth open. This one just now. No. All right, Rockies, we actually have to feed the alligators. So I have about 15 of these buckets full of chicken. So I'm going to need your help to bring them from point A to point B, pass them into me so that I can get them into the pit and we can arrange it so that we're going to start actually feeding them. Cody, this looks heavy Pick as hell. Pick it up. No, squat up. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. No, this down. is like 40 pounds. There you go. Okay, all right. Oh my God. <gasps> Alright Rocky, you did good. The challenge is over. We got through it, but we got another one for you. Another challenge? Yeah. This was so hard. Uh, you ain't done yet. You're gonna be dragging these boats. Dragging the boat? Yep. You. We not getting in the boat? No. I'm getting in the boat. You dragging the boat. <laughs> what? I'm watching you drag the boat from the boat. These You're boats weigh about 42, 4,400 pounds when they're empty, not with people in it. So we're going to add Moody into the equation. So it's going to be even a little heavier because we know that you want to take it up a notch and really push yourself. All right, come on. Pull my yacht. OK. So just drag Moody. Yep. Flip the boat. Make sure he goes in the water. That is ideal. And the yeah. boat on top of him. Yep. OK. That's it. I got it. I'm ready. I ain't never had this sure. much energy in my life. Let's go. Oh, my god. I'm so out of it, Moody. This is called Everglades Holiday Park. What type of holiday is this? It was a holiday for me to watch you do all that work. <laughs> not funny. That so, is not funny. It's actually funny, because look at you. You push yourself. Are you, you going to go to the gym now? Gym you don't got to go to the gym for three days. You just did all of this stuff. On today's challenge, she did pretty good. She complained a lot. Why would you do this to me? Why you do this to me? Let's go. But at the end of the day, she did a great job, and she put that work in and got that workout done. Oh my god, that was crazy. <laughs> no, that was a lot of fun. Yeah, Kevin, but you let me do a lot of crazy things thanks to Moody. <laughs> no, no, you guys did great. I'm really proud of you. Thank you did you. awesome, Rocky. My scariest part was um, the holding the alligator. The baby one? Yeah, the baby one. <laughs> I don't care, baby one can take my whole life. I am so proud of you. Like, you killed it. So, Moody surprised me with this alligator workout. I didn't want to go, but at the same time, I enjoyed myself. Princess Peach. Princess Peach. Crocodile Rick. Crocodile Rick. <laughs> and I kind of have a thing for alligators now. I'm scared. I really didn't want to do this. Lying, this girl broken. It's time to get serious. Time to get ready to go box. Let's go. Rocky, how you feeling? Scared. You should be. Hit it, hit it, hit it. Quick, quick, quick. One, two. Boom. Okay. Ha, right back. Hold it, ha. hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Come from here, oh. hands on the ground, you're no, gonna come man. out. See what we got here. Okay. I've been doing my thing for about three weeks and especially just being really consistent with my cardio. So right now, I feel like I lost interest for sure, especially my waistline. I'm terrified to get on the scale because I don't want to be discouraged. It's time to get on that scale, scary cat. Pushing myself during this journey is way, way harder than I thought. It's my mind, I can do it. I, I can tell myself to do anything, but getting up and doing it is a different story. The schedule that I have with my son, 
and my businesses and everything that I have to do, it's so hard to get up and actually initiate. In the industry that I'm in right now, you have to be what's popping. I'm so scared. <sighs> Damn, I'm scared. I really didn't want to do this. And I got clothes on, so let's make sure that. And I got three pounds of hair. So I'm going to have to take at least four, five pounds off of me. Okay. <sighs> That's another pound that I just gained. Lying, it's still broken. Oh, it's, it's hold on, it's on kilograms. Oh, god, it's on pounds now. Oh, my god, I'm happy. Oh, <laughs> I did lose, I lost like 10 pounds, I lost 11 pounds. I'm officially 298 pounds. So that means that I lost like 11 to 12 pounds. That's really good. The fact that I got on it and I actually lost weight, I can't even explain how I feel because I thought I was losing weight and I get on the scale, two, three, four, five pounds heavier. And it just really broke me down as a person. I thought I was gonna cry. Woo! <sighs> okay, so but now it's time to get ready to go box. It's time to get serious, let's go. Today I'm meeting with John Matos. He's a boxing and training coach. I heard a lot about John. I've seen some of the stuff that he's been doing. He's really good. That's why I reached out to him. And I'm kind of a little nervous because I know he goes hard. Hi. Hey, Hello. how are you? Uh, I'm good. Are you John? Yes. Rocky? Yes. Nice to meet you. How are you feeling? Scared. Uh, you should be. Hopefully today is not too intense. But at the same time, that's what I need. All right, so come here real quick. Let me ask you a few questions before we get started. So tell me a little bit about yourself. Any workout experience, any past injuries? Fitness-wise, I was on an expert level. Okay. Competition, Good. doing all kind of stuff. I'm expecting a lot then. No, no, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Please no, John. Um, when COVID hit, it was like, you know, what's a couple weeks, what's two, three weeks out the gyms? And then it turned into, are we even surviving this? And <laughs> yeah. Then everybody got into apocalypse mode. Yeah. It went from, Couple months to a whole year and a half, no gym. Where do you want to be at? Where do you see yourself a couple months from now, weight-wise, physique-wise, okay. okay. health-wise, more importantly? Honestly, I realize I need help. Okay. I need a coach. To me, 250 is my goal. So today what we're gonna do is, okay. I'm pretty much throwing you in the fire. No, no, I no, need no, to no. see where you're <laughs> So we're gonna start with a nice, easy warm-up. It's okay. three rounds. Each round is gonna gradually get stronger, faster, and more intense. It's all the way up or all the way down? Uh-huh, hit it, hit it. If I can really like pull through the workout and finish, or at least, I don't want to say impress him, but impress myself, it's going to do a lot for my system. There you go. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. You're going to come from here, hands on the ground, you're no, going to come man. out. You got Damn. this. You ready? Okay. Yes. So we're going to bring those knees all the way in. Keep that core tight. Can't do that fast. Everything's jiggling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, now we're gonna go into boxing. You ever boxed before? No. Careful with the nails. Oh, snap, hold on. So let's do it. Good. You got good speed. Do I? Yeah, you actually do. <laughs> you got good speed. Ha, right back. Ha, right back. Ha, 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 ha. One more. Ha, ha, good. Ha, one. One, two. Ha, ha, there you go. Two and counter. One, two. Counter, boom. Last combination we're gonna do, a one, two, three, two. One, two, three, two. Hold on. One, two, three, two. Uh-huh, last one, hard, come on. Good <laughs> We went easy, just so you know. No, we did it. It's gonna get harder gradually, but you did it. You made it happen. I feel so good. Honestly, though, you did really good. The boxing, you said it was your first time boxing, and you look pretty natural. I would recommend we start working out at least three times a week. Okay. And then the days that I don't see you, I'm giving you homework to do. Sometimes, honestly, you just need someone on your Right. After completing this workout, I feel extremely motivated. Like, I'm gonna hire John. I'm gonna work out with John three times a week. I was sweating profusely, like, I needed water. I thought I was gonna die. I feel like I could accomplish anything at this point. He even told me a couple times that I did really good. I know I have a lot of strength and proper formation. That's the thing. The fact that I was able to achieve 
what he told me to do, get it done, and he was actually impressed, I was impressed. Sometimes I think I, I don't got it, but I do. I, my strength is still there. <laughs>